Hello everybody, we just received the new signal, uh, signal, uh, signal generator STG1000X and today we are going to make a video with the unboxing and uh, how it looks. Uh, we have here with us a LeCroy HDO 4054 which is a 12-bit uh, oscilloscope in order to see the quality of the signal. Uh, let's start and open the unit to see what is inside and then let's move quickly to how it works. So again we open the box, inside there is the promotional codes from Sigland. We have the power cable with the European plug. We have a USB cable and a quick start and calibration. To be noted that in the unit there is no uh, the BLC, there are not BLC cables. So if you want them, you should take them. Either you have them already, which is very possible, or you should buy them as uh, spare parts. Maybe we will do something for you. So here is the unit with the classic plastic uh, coverage. Here we are. Again, really beautiful. Channel 1, channel 2. Analog button, USB in the front. On the back side, we have the counter, auxiliary input output, 10 MHz input output, ground, USB LAN, and uh, power inlet. So let's go and start. Powering up the unit, I just I just want to go raw, so I'm, I'm not going to attach detach the video in order to make it short and clear for everybody. So first of all, let's look at the boot speed. So, Siglent logo. seems to be a little bit slow. Now it's calibrating, I heard the click, and here we are. So the unit, uh, it's ready. I don't know if you can see good. So the standard, it's uh, one kilohertz, four volt, peak to peak, no offset, no phase, load, ID, output, off. Uh, in some blogs and comments, there is the request if this unit support amplitude. And yes, it does, but you have to change the load from IZ to 50 ohm. So let's go and uh, power on the oscilloscope. So I have connected the unit through the BNC cable and I'm going to power on the output one. And in the output one, I've put uh, uh, 20 megahertz. So let's go to measure, setup. Okay, as frequency, wow, this is really good. We can see, I don't know if you can see, I can try to zoom a little bit. So it's really stable, 20 megas up and down, a few bit, it's okay. So I would say it's very beautiful. What other, what we can say, I leave it here, is the amplitude of the signal vertical mm. 
come check. And here we are. So yeah, the unit itself looks uh, awesome. Display, I would say the black display uh, for the unit it's really nice because it gives you a lot of information and pop up to the uh, to the eye very 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 easily. So here we are. If we want, uh, we can go through the menu. One second. So here we are back and um, we can go and check the unit. So here what we have, we have, we can uh, switch from channel one to channel two. And here we can set the period or frequency, amplitude, eye level, offset, we can set the offset, we can set the phase, we can set harmonics, so we can go to the harmonic parameter. We can check the type, order, harmonic amplitude, harmonic phase. All right. And then we can check the mode. So again, we can ch change type, IM, FM, PM, FSK, ISK. DSBM, PSK, SUS, internal, external, IM, that shape, sign, square, triangle, up ramp, down ramp, noise, arbitrary. The unit itself is very easy to navigate. So we have the sweep button where we can put, set the sweep time, start frequency, stop frequency, burst. We can set the burst parameter, we can set parameter, utility, system, test call, counter, output setup, clock source, help, over voltage protection. We can store a call so we can recall information and waveforms. We can set, you know, sign, square, ramp, pulse, noise, again DC and arbitrary. We can copy channel 1 to channel 2 very easily and we can jump, pressing this button we can jump, you can see the color, we can jump from channel 1 to channel 2. Uh, as, as you can see the knob, you can rotate the knob, you can select, so far so good. Please like the video and stay up to date in our channel. Thank you very much, ciao.